In this hour, we look at pesticides. In part two, medications. We filmed in seven different countries in Asia, Africa, and Latin America, and found evidence in every one that pesticides banned or restricted here are widely sold and without restrictions there. Some of the largest, most powerful, most profitable corporations in the world have been or are now involved. Mobile, Shell, Dow, Union Carbide, Occidental Petroleum, all from the United States, BASF from West Germany, Imperial Chemical of Britain, Rhone Poulenc of France, and many others. How it happens, why, who is responsible, what is being done about it, what can be done about it. These are the questions we will address. Here in Washington, D.C., I went to the office of the National Agricultural Chemical Association, the building you see right behind me. They're the trade group that represents the pesticide manufacturers, some of whose products we saw used in different parts of the third world. This trade association declined to be interviewed. GFOP, the organization representing pesticide producers internationally, also refused to be interviewed for this report. All pesticides used in the United States must be registered with the EPA, Environmental Protection Agency. EPA can restrict or prohibit some or all uses if it finds the risks of using the pesticide outweigh the benefits. <laughs> Ironically, we are only just beginning to learn that some banned and restricted pesticides we export are coming back to us as residues on food we import from third world countries. An ever-increasing use of pesticides in the present form present ways. Dr. Lee Talbot is former senior scientist for the White House Council on Environmental Quality. Without the use of pesticides, diseases like malaria would never have been controlled and would still be a scourge of mankind. Also, without the use of pesticides, the tremendous increases in agricultural productivity would, of the past few years simply wouldn't be possible. Without the use, some use of pesticides in the future, the increases in food productivity that are absolutely required for the world's expanding human population would not be possible, will not be possible. So that it's very important to recognize that they represent a major contribution to the welfare of mankind and indeed to the survival of mankind. But of course, as with any tool, there are also problems. <laughs> This is a Chetamidi Bator, a small village in Ghana, West Africa. About 200 men, women and children in almost total isolation from the rest of the world.